welcome you to Los Angeles. We're going to be treated to a gorgeous day for baseball on the show. It's the St. Louis Cardinals taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. First pitch coming your way next. About to get started here. And towing the slab in this one, Shohei Otani. And Singy, he's one of the most dominant arms in all of baseball. It's got that splitter, and it's a pitch that swings and misses, come fast, and they come often. Very difficult to pick up out of his hand. All right, ready to go here. Leading now up for St. Louis, St. Louis, Brendan Lewis, Donovan. The designated hitter here, Brendan Donovan. And the pitch. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. Next offering is in for a strike. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. They're so tough to do anything with as a hitter. Left hand hitter waits. Gets a piece and it stays 0 2. And oh, ball wow. one. This guy's a fun one guy to watch right taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. And down on strikes he goes. One gone here. It's a strikeout, but they'll be in good shape if they make their outs as difficult as that one. Those grinding ABs take a toll on pitchers. The game goes on. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. Way what high. Otani, 29 years old. Can't forget to mention he's a former MVP. Kicks and fires. Wouldn't chase that time. One out, base is empty. Misses inside. 3 and 0. Oh. This one high in the air to left center. He makes the catch and there's two down. Now we take a check of the St. Louis Cardinals lineup. A tough challenge in this one, an excellent arm on the mound, singing they're going to have to capitalize on their opportunities. Yeah, and they're not going to get a whole lot if he pitches the way that he's capable of pitching. So, you know, be ready to swing from the first pitch. You get something straight, man, you better turn on it. Two outs, base is empty. Lars Newborn. Hey. Next up for the Cardinals. Oh, one's the count. Two outs, base is empty. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Good fastball going yeah. early until they show they can make some good contact. You keep on throwing the pitch. One ball. And that one two is strike. in the dirt. And yeah, the count one and two. Two outs. That two one not close. And yeah, the count's even at two. Two down, nobody on. And another ball. Three balls, two strikes to count. That one down the line, and that's just foul. 
and a payoff pitch. Bows it back with two strikes. And here it comes. The 3 2 oh, is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Two outs, runner at first. Here's Nolan Arenado. And that one fouled off. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Right through there for a strike. No ball, two strikes. One Very ball, high with that one. And it's one and two. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. And they'll do it again. Righty delivers. Pitch oh, misses two. there. It's two and two. two, two Newt Bar off the of first with two away. That one lifted to left. Hernandez makes the play, and that'll do it. And the Dodgers are coming up to hit. No score. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Dodger Stadium. And starting this one, Sonny Gray. What do you look for here? Well, the hammer is in effect, and he sets it up so nicely because of the velocity on the fastball. We'll elevate that and then break you off when he's ahead in the count. What I love about him, you get into the later innings of the ball game, and the velocity Three seems to go up. up. And at the plate for the Dodgers, the Mookie base. Betts. Mookie. Obviously a guy who makes good yeah. contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. That one fouled off. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. And a swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. That one just misses two and two. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. And the righty deals. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Ready. Freeman. Freddie Freeman yeah. delivered a master class in 2023. Freeman and Betts fed off of each other's success, and it helped Freeman produce a 977 OPS, 29 home runs, and more than 100 RBIs. That's a great season. Right-hander kicks deals. Hey. And strike two. No ball, two strikes. And one and two. Freeman hits it in the air. Edmund going after it. Makes the grab for the second out. And let's take a look at the lineup. Yeah, with their ace on the mound today, they're just looking to provide him a little bit of run support, and they'll see what they can do for him. Book, you have to be really careful when you've got a guy like this on the mound for you to not become a spectator. You know that he doesn't give up a whole lot, but sometimes guys get a little too comfortable and don't have an urgency to score runs. You have to make sure you put him in a situation where he can get the W, but also you guys can cruise to the finish line and not have to worry about a comeback in the end. 
the line to kick the pitch. He swings and fouls one off. The wind of the pitch. Hey. And another ball. That's the third. Arenado rolls across oh. the diamond. Play made, that ends the inning. Dodgers down in order. Scoreless after one. Back here in L.A., top of the second. And now the Cardinals catcher, Wilson Contreras. All right, Singy, you know I'm a dork. Shohei Otani, go back to May 5th, 2022 at Fenway Park. He tossed a complete game through 99 pitches. Get this, 81 strikes. It was the most strikes thrown with less than 100 pitches in a game since they started tracking pitch counts. That's just unreal. And he'll one. Swing and a foul straight back. At the belt and fires. Gonna one count ball, one and two. Two strikes. pitch there's a high knee past them that's a strikeout here's Nolan Gorman All that one missed count one and oh The 1 0. -oh. And it's found away. Second inning here, no score. Hey. Swing and a miss. And a count. One, ball. One and two. <laughs> they can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. And the right hander deals. And that one is inside. Hard hit to third. Tosses Three across down. the first. Two up, two down in the top of the second. That is, that, that. The left field. Jordan Walker. Two outs, base is empty. Jordan Walker, the next to hit. Ball, first pitch right. misses. Two outs. Wouldn't Two chase ball. that no time. Break. No, that pitch not even close. A 2-0 count now. He can't be over aggressive. He's got to make sure that pitch is right on a tee for him. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike Two one. Ball. No, that's one that point. slurf right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Three. That one off the mark. And now three and one. Slice to right, and it goes oh, just foul. foul. Just couldn't keep it fair down that right field line, and with his speed, if that's a fair ball, it's two, maybe three bases. Two down, nobody on. He goes down looking. Redbirds down quietly. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here with my pal C. And now it's Max Muncy. He is very much a typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. 
Well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. And a strike in there. Quickly down 0-2 in the count. I think you got to choke up a little bit, spread out the feet. You don't know what the velocity or the location of this next pitch is going to be. Left hand hitter waits. Just Whoa, off the right. inside edge. It's a good take. Just well, misses down. without one. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. 2 2 now. Just misses the mark outside the zone. I think he wanted that call in the upper part of the zone, but just didn't get it. Now he's just trying to get a better feel for how much it missed, so he can adjust his sights just a little bit. Outside, and that is ball four. I don't think he really wanted the pitch to him right there anyhow. Leading off for the top. And next for L.A., James Outman. Yeah. That one misses. That's five straight. Go ahead, run it first. Nobody out. Bottom half of inning number two. Ground ball right side. And it finds its way through for a hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. He kind of rolled over on his pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And we'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. And now Teoscar Hernandez. First pitch and he just misses. Muncie over at second. Outman at first with no outs. A little That's bit high. Over. Ball two. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Down the middle for a strike. And a count two and one. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. Look we'll at many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. Kicks and fires. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit. But when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of it. Chases the fastball up the ladder, struck him out. That was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Chris Taylor down. Ball one there. That's in there. And a count one and one. Back to back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Misses. And the count is two and two. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. That one misses. And the count is filled up. Jason Hayward. Hitting on deck circle. One out. Runners at first and second. Base hit into the outfield. Muncy on a 
his horse around third. He's safe. Through. Comes through with the RBI. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball, he let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Runners at the corners here, one away. Here's Jason Hayward. Out towards right center field. Edna makes the catch. Runner tagging and heading for home. He's in to score the sack fly, and they take a two-run lead. That's just a really nice catch on the run right there. He saved extra bases for sure. If the pitcher's in spread, he'll give him a second to catch his breath before he's ready to deal the next pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And he deals. Foul ball. Here comes a pitch. Good job to fight that one off. Deal two. And ball that's one. downstairs and outside. One ball, two strikes, the count. On the ground, right side, Gorman. They take the force yeah. out, bang, bang, play, and the inning is over. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. We head on now to the top of the third. It's the Dodgers two and the Cardinals nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. On to the third the inning. Digging in is the switch Tom inning Tom outfielder, Tommy Edmund. Edmund. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. The right-hander back to work. And hey. immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Yeah, we go beyond just the you know fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability Boy, to have what? range and you know close holes that you know are normally there against an average defender. But this guy is special, and you can see it in his first step quickness. The one-one. Hogan, well, the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way, and this is what this guy does. Way out in front of that inside pitch there, just exactly the opposite kind of approach that you want with two strikes. You want to let the ball travel, make sure you recognize it, try to shorten up so that you can at least put the ball in play. Clearly fooled, but I think even more so, you question hey. the two-strike approach. Mason Wynn, batting with one down, takes a strike. The 0-1. Foul ball there. One down, base is empty. Well, that's off the plate. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. The pitch comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Smith gathers, throws out on the drop third strike, two gone. Back to back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting the feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Back to the leadoff spot in the St. Louis lineup. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Brendan Donovan. Got it started a little too early, strike one. The Dodgers up by two. We're here in the top half of inning number three. That's Good eye in that spot. That to right. Hayward has this one sized up. He makes the grab, and that is that.
back here at Chavez Ravine. Now it's Mookie Betts. The second baseman. Betts is definitely one of those guys that excels at everything he does, Bull. In terms of baseball, he can do it all. He's won World Series, batting titles, gold gloves, and everything else you can think of. Ground ball to the right side. So Mookie Betts with a base hit and the leadoff man aboard. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. And the first pitch misses for ball one. When you're taking your lead over there at first, you've got to be very careful. This guy on the mound's got a good pickoff move. Swing and a miss. And the count even one and one. one, one I think he was sitting off speed there. Nobody out. Runner at first. Mookie on the move. And that one wrapped foul. And the next pitch is way outside. And another ball. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's wrong. Runner at first with no outs here. Freeman checks his swing. Appeal down to third. And Gary Simmons punches him out. That's a strikeout. And up to the plate no, no, no. is Will Smith. <laughs> Grounded out his first time. <laughs> Fastball in for a strike. It's 0-1. Is the corner. Betts, the base runner at first with one out. Sonny Gray checks on the runner, oh, and Betts dives back. The 0-2. A little bit low. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Foul ball, he stays alive. The pitch. <laughs> Battling here as he fouls it away. Man at first, one away. Ground ball up the middle into the outfield base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Showed some really nice Her patience in that. Worked feet. himself into a good Man. count. Just kept it simple. Played Come pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. First and second, one out. Max Muncie steps to the plate for the Dodgers. A walk and a run scored his first time. Just Whoa, missed. Damn. Righty to the plate. And that now two and nothing. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, he's going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. That misses. And now 3-0. Well, knowing that this hitter's got holes in his swing, because he's got so much power, pitcher still can get a little too tight, afraid to make a mistake. There's a swing and a drive. That one back there. 
And it's a run-offer off the wall. Should be extra bases. One run across. Another scores. Two runs in on the play, and they lead by four. Back-to-back -back base hits. High fastball, even a little above the zone, but such a good job of staying tall on the backside, getting that barrel there to meet it just in time. I'll tell you what, it's not easy to do. James Outman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. That misses the zone, and it's one and oh. Two runs across in the inning here in the last half of the third. So two balls and no strikes. Swings through that. Two one. Ball Next pitch is outside. Three nope. one, and he couldn't come up with it. Now back. No left field here. Two on with one out. Here's Tasker Hernandez. He's all for one. In there at the knees. That's strike one. When you're struggling out there on the mound, hitters know that there'll be plenty of opportunities within the at bat to try to get something to hit hard. And he takes a strike. Moving into the bullpen for the Cardinals, John King. The southpaw is throwing and getting that sinker dialed in. Kicks and deals. Ground ball could be two. Fired to second. Return throw to first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two run double. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. You're dialed into the show. And we're back. John Chompy with Chris Singleton. And set to lead off the fourth, Paul Goldschmidt. Otani back to work right through there for a strike. Here's a fun fact. Dodger Stadium was also the home of the Los Angeles Angels for four years in the 1960s while they waited for him. Swing and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot. Turned around and made a nice catch. New bar. 26 years old. And he was drafted in the eighth round. Back in 2018. Newt Barr takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. And he swings through that one. I got a ball, one strike. One down, base is empty. Swing and a foul straight back. The Redbirds hitless so far in the game. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. And that's a base hit. Now down. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff for the base hit. Let's get the 
Arenado oh. takes low second trip to the plate in this one. And the 1 0 -oh misses low. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. Swing and all the bat went flying there. Well, we talk about throwing the hands, but not the bat, man. You want to hold on to that thing and you can see his teammates over there. If he doesn't come through with the knock, he's going to get some business when he goes back to the dugout. Rolled to short, possible two ball. Lux over to second, and it's a double play to end the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We're midway in the fourth. It's the Dodgers four and the Cardinals nothing. Back here at Dodger we Stadium. Go, now go, it's the DH, the Chris WWE. Taylor. Yeah. Taylor, Taylor, six foot one, 195 pounds, and he's usually in the outfield. Today he's the DH. And that one is inside ball one. You know, dude, people don't realize how far the jog is from the dugout to the outfield position. And if you're playing in Oakland, man, it's a country mile to get out there. So for him to be able to be the DH today, that is really a nice day off. The wind of the pitch. And another ball. It's just off the three. inside edge you know these Dodgers showing great discipline at the plate and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one pitch count is pretty high and they've played it four runs already so I think it's safe to say their game plan is working out, working out pretty well right now the right field next to hit Jason Hayward drove in a run with a sack fly his first time off And a good eye Happy there. Side. So they forced the starter to put in a lot of work, and they've been able to get to him for some runs. And hopefully that bullpen phone is working today. Taylor aboard here at first with nobody out. Lifted in the air, right center field. Corrals it, and there's one down. So, man the aboard, batter, and now it's Gavin Lux. Gavin. Lux. First pitch, not close. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Swings and lines one towards the gap. It gets down. Base hit. They fired it quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. That pretty much split the zone down the middle. And those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. Here's Mookie now. You know, Boog, Mookie Betts may have not been named MVP in 2023. But that doesn't take away from his impressive season. The Dodgers star hit nearly 40 home runs and drove in more than 100. Ronald Acuna Jr. deserved to win, but it was another phenomenal season in Mookie's career. Two on, one out. In the air to left center. Walker makes the grab, and there's two gone. The first base is number five, Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman will hit next. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. A little out front there as he swings through it. 
0-1. First down. and second, two down. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. Swung on, belted. New ball, ranging back. To the warning track, makes the catch. No runs, a hit, two left. We're headed to the fifth. It's the Dodgers four and the Cardinals nothing. Back here with my we pal Ziggy. We go to the top of the, the fifth. Wilson Contreras one. now up to the Will plate. Contreras. Yeah, the right hander back to work. Just missed. You know, these Cardinals, from what we've seen, I think it's fair to wonder if they've been too patient at the plate. Sometimes it's a good thing, but today they're continuing to fall behind in the count, and that's adding a ton of pressure to their offense. The 1 1. Gets the outside corner with that one. One ball, two strikes. High fly ball down the left field line. Back there. Say goodbye to that one. He sends a rocket to left, and they cut into the deficit. It's 4-1. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. And up next for St. Louis, Nolan Gorman. He's 0 for 1. Hey. That one's in there. And it's 0 and 1. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. The Dodgers leading by three. And we're at the top of the fifth. Swings and misses. And that is strike two. Good pitch right there. Tied him up on the hands. If I'm out there on the bump, I'm going right back One in ball. there. Please and that's down it away. Here's a one-two. In the air, right side. Hayward drifts towards it. Makes the catch for the out. One away. Now bad. The left fielder. Now the left fielder, Jordan Walker. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And a foul ball. And a foul ball. Have you ever caught a foul ball as a fan? Only as a broadcaster, not as a fan. You? I haven't been in many games as a fan. Max hey. and misses. It's a strikeout. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball now, the now, other now. way. The but that time, a little Tommy. anxious. Edmund. Two outs, base is empty. Tommy Edmund at the plate. Struck out swinging his first time. Fly ball down the line. Hernandez settles underneath it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. One for the Cardinals on the solo home run. It's now 4-1. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in L.A., bottom of the inning. The batter now will be Will Smith. The wind and the pitch. That Out one plate, inside. Ball one. ball one. Right through there for a strike. The pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And the pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And a one-two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. One and two now. 
Three. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Here comes Max Muncy. He has, as they like to say, ah. let me guess, Boo, light tower power. That's right. Oh, yep, can't get it. out of the way of the fastball. And that's going to sting. You know, the bad news is that pitch wasn't close. The good news, they're set up to turn two and get out of the end. Out. Stands in now and watches strike one. The outside corner, and it's 0-2. Muncy leads off first with one away. Can't connect on the curveball, struck him out. Got away with that curveball, no doubt about it. It passed right oh, through the heart of the strike off. zone, and he just no couldn't get the bat on it. When you strike yeah, out yeah. on one like that, that's oh, when you start yeah, having yeah. conversations with yourself, and they're not usually very friendly. Hernandez lays off down low as he digs in for the third time. Lined in the left center, and that should be extra bases. Muncy around second, headed for third. Coming home. He will score. It's 5-1. Everything came together for him. And man, I'll tell you, a line drive like that into the gap just feels so good. It's feedback that you have everything on time and in control from start to finish with your swing. New pitcher for the Cardinals, John King. Well, they didn't get much length out of their starter in this one, so they've got a lot of outs to eat up in that bullpen. I think they'll look for some length out of him right here if they can get it. Chris Taylor now at the plate. That's off the mark, and that's ball one. That one to first, and foul ball. Runner at second, two down. Started after it, appeal to first, and he held back, according to Larry Bullard. And that's in there at the knees. Thank you. In the dirt. Hernandez up to third on the wild pitch. Even with a good secondary lead, sometimes it's hard to see just how far that ball's gotten away from the catcher. And if you could make it to third base pretty much standing up, well, that time he seemed to have a pretty good read, gets to third safely, and now he's just 90 feet away from scoring. Two outs. So now two on and two outs. Oh, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball forward. And up next for Los Angeles, Jason Hayward. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation or maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Corners are occupied with two down. That one's spoiled, and the count now two and one. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Arenado, they get the force. They limit the damage here. Dodgers with a run scoring double. It's now 5 1.
All set for the start of the inning. Now up for St. Louis, Mason Wynn. Mason Wynn. Otani back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Bounce to the right side. Oh, great stop. Throw to first. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Well, it's been a struggle on offense for them in this one, so maybe that wakes them up a little bit. You know, an error can certainly give the opposing lineup something to get excited about. You got somebody on base, so we'll see if they can make something of it. And here's the St. Louis leadoff man, Brendan Donovan. Nope. First pitch okay. misses. I love this part of the game. Does he really want to try and steal second against this catcher? I know he's fast, but it's pretty risky. And a pitch. That one finds the zone, and it's one and one. The Cardinals down by four, and we're the top half of the sixth. And oh, another ball. Two one now. And there's a foul ball. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Couldn't have timed it up any better oh, than that. Hard really hard. nice job staying up the, the middle with his approach. He didn't oh. try to do too much yeah. with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. Hey. And a big swing and a miss. 0 oh, 1. Win the lead runner at second. Donovan on at first with nobody out. Swing and a miss, and it's nothing in two. Just an outstanding job of spinning the baseball, moving it around, doing what he does. The pitch. Not close with that one. One and two to count. He was looking to come up with the shutdown inning and off to a shaky start. Wouldn't chase that time. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Picks up strikeout number seven. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. He keeps it down. It's just so tough to put wood on. Now it's the right fielder, Lars Newtbar. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Righty delivers. Two and out. Well, it's been a very impressive outing so far. His command has been a big part of it. Even when he misses, he misses outside the strike zone, which is exactly what a pitcher wants. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Around third. One run is in. The relay in there right. safely. And now just a two-run okay. deficit. Making some noise here. Two RBIs on that swing, and they're right back in it. Punched that one down the line for extra bases, and that was an excellent job going with the pitch on the outside. Got his bat on plane and just drove it. And it's second with one away. Now here is Nolan Arenado. One's in there, 0 and 1. Oh. 
Runner at second here, one gone. Next oh. offering misses, and now it's even one, one and one. Swing and a ball lifted to center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there are two outs. And up to hit is Wilson Contreras. He's already homered here in this one. Fought off foul. Sneaks through, base hit. Rounds third, headed for the plate. He'll score, and they trail by one. He was all over that one. Smash that one through the infield for the nod. When it's hit that hard, it makes it very tough on the infielders to make any sort of play. So two down, standing in is the power hitting second baseman, Nolan Gorman. Hit hard, but foul off to the left. Two outs. Swing and a miss. 0-2. The Dodgers bullpen with some action. J.P. Fireisen looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Garcia, a left-hander, also throwing. The pitch. On the ground, right side. To second, locks. And that is that. Three runs, three hits, one error, and one man left. 9-1-2 and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Dodgers 5 and the Cardinals 4. Bottom of the sixth. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Gavin Lux. And here it comes. And that's in there at the knees. You know, these Dodgers do a great job, Boog. They're just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. The numbers say their chase rate or swings at pitches outside the zone is under 25%. And I think that's a big reason why they're scoring runs. And that one pulled foul. By not chasing out of the zone, they're getting good pitches to hit. When you can do that, you have a much better chance to square up the baseball and do damage like they have so far. Swing and a miss struck him out. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base now runner. When two base strikes, base. you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error. But some way, you got to find a way to shorten yeah. up the swing and put the ball in play next time. That's in the box now. No balls and a strike. That oh, just close. misses. One and one. The lefty fires. So a foul ball makes it one and two. One down, base is empty. Fouls it off, still one and two. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. And it beats Got him it. for out number two. That's a strikeout. Up next up, up, up. The first base now the number two Freddy. hitter, Freddie Freeman. Freeman. In the air to left, down the line. Walker makes the catch, and that'll do it. J.P. Fireisen on a pitch out of the pen here. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Well, we one run game. Hard. Here's the left the fielder, left Jordan Walker, Jordan. who's over two with a pair Jordan. of strikeouts. The pitch. 
right through there for a strike. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. Looking to get the tying run on base. This one popped up right side. That settles underneath it. Drops into the glove. And there's one down. That's such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit. And then from there can really settle in. Edmund nope. up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. Fire Eisen, a 6-2 righty, 31 years old, and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in Wisconsin. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. That misses the zone, and yeah, that's ball two. Right-hander kicks, deals, and a ground ball to first, and he handles oh. it himself for the out. Now that Mason, Mason Wynn mm -hmm. next up for the Cardinals. Seeing you talk about a guy that has all the skills, the range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. Popped up on the left side of the infield. Muncy has a beat on it. Makes the catch. And that's the third out. One, two, three, go to Cardinals. Still down a run. It's five to four. Back here at Chavez Ravine, set for the last half of the seventh. Here's the catcher, Will Smith. The wind of the pitch. And that one fouled off. And he deals. And yep, that's outside. And a count one and two. Action in the St. Louis bullpen. Andrew Kittredge preparing to come on if needed. One, two now. Three. Right through there. Got him. And one away in the bottom of the seventh. Well, I think that was just a case of a hitter quitting on a pitch. He was looking fastball and didn't see it out of the hand and just left the ball on his shoulder. That was a changeup right over the plate. Probably not the location he was looking for, but the change of speeds is what fooled him, and he got the out. Base is empty one away. You're the bottom of the seventh. And now the lefty bows it back with two strikes. Left hand batter waits. Fights it off. You'll see another. And the 0 2 stays alive. Five foul balls in a row. I have no idea what that feels like, but you got to love this battle. Just One wondering ball. who's going to blink first. And a pitch. And another yep. ball. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. For a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at bat like that one. James Outman getting ready to hit one for two. Oh, he 
doesn't get the call. And that's ball one. Hey. Right through there for a strike. Next one misses, and it's two and one. And there's a ball. Teoscar Hernandez waiting to bat for the Dodgers. The line to kick the pitch. That one fouled off. Two down, nobody on. And there's ball four. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been no really that. patient at the no play. Line. The game plan that he's hey, sticking to, he's just not going outside of oh, what he's looking for. Right there. And next for L.A., Teoscar Hernandez. Hey. And the slider catches the zone. Outman, the runner at first with two gone. Up the middle. They take the force out. That ends the frame. So the Dodgers leave one. They lead it 5 4. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Bruce Dar Grotterol. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. So now here's the Cardinals' designated hitter, Brendan Donovan. One for three. And the pitch. Oh, he doesn't get the call. 1-0. and oh. Activity in the bullpen for the Dodgers. Evan Phillips, the closer, is getting loose. And the 1-0. -oh. Hey! That's to third. Over to first. And that's one away. And the leadoff man is out in the eighth. That's why you hug the lines on the corners late in the ball game like this. Positioned perfectly. And here's Paul Goldschmidt. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a strikeout. And that one fouled off. <laughs> The 0 1. And fouled off. One down, base is empty. Got him! That's the second out. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Lars Newtball. So he came out clutch earlier in this ball game and really just needs to take the same approach. Think. Hard right back up the middle. In there at the knees. Strike one. And ball one. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. And boy, umpire to give him the call. I bet you if he throws it again, hitter knows he's going to have to swing it. Fair ball. Makes the turn and heads for second. And now the tying run is into scoring position. Putting some good swings on the ball. That's his second extra base hit in this one. Nice line drive to the pole side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. A chance now to even the score and maybe extend this game. Here's Nolan Arenado. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a ground out. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Yep, one and oh. Ball 
Holding on to a one run lead, and we're in the top of the eighth. Whoa, Wouldn't chase that out. time. He's clearly trying to work him away here, both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. Swing and a miss. And it's two and one. One strike. And another ball. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Wilson Contreras would be next if they can extend the inning. And he's homered already, so I'm sure he'd love a chance to do some more damage here. So the tying run at second. Bounding ball here. Rolls foul. And the pitch. The other way. Could be extra bases around third. He comes across to score. The Cardinals tie it up. 5-5 five, five now. Not in time. It's a double. Big RBI for him right there. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Now that sets up a huge at-bat in this ballgame. So runner at second, two down. And here's the catcher, Wilson Contreras. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Outman sizing this one up. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that's the third out. Cards on the board with this double. All even at five apiece. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back now to pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Jojo Romero. Number 59. Chris Taylor steps to the plate for the Dodgers. The designated hitter, Chris Taylor. Here comes a pitch. Ripped to third and caught. Man, that could have been a big swing in this game. Just unlucky at a really unfortunate time right there. And now the right fielder, Jason Hayward. A little surprised. We don't see a pinch hitter here with the lefty-lefty matchup. Oh, that's, that's outside. Ball one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Andrew Pittridge getting ready to go. All tied up here. The bottom half of the eighth inning. And a pop-up. Right side. Foul territory. He's got it. And a couple of quick outs. Now Gavin. Digging in. Gavin Lux. Struck out on just three pitches last time. The shortstop takes the ball. Hit on the ground to the right side. He takes it on his own. Three up, three down, inning over. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. Our score holds at five apiece. Back here at Dodger Stadium. We go to the ninth. Here's the second baseman, Nolan Gorman. Grotterol back to work. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Looks like he sacrificed to pitch right down the middle for tracking and timing. Some good hitters will do that. And he'll one. And that one hit 97 on the gun. They say you win. Ball, two that one almost got it. Left hand hitter waits. That one is absolutely belted. Way back there. 
back. Gone. And they take the lead. It's 6-5. Nothing better than hitting a home run to put your team out in front. He's enjoying a fun trip around the bases. His bat looks like it's in the zone for such a long time, and that gives him the ability to get barrel on it and hit the ball out to any part of the park. Joe Kelly into the game. Power slider guy, boy. He throws it hard and gets a lot of late movement, so it's tough to pick up. So up next, Jordan Walker. In there at the knees. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Towards first, Freeman. Steps on first for the out. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground out. And here comes Tommy Edmond. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. Right through there for a strike. The Dodgers bullpen with some action. Ryan Brazier up and loosening in the pen. One down, base is empty. And it's fouled away. Next nope, pitch is downstairs. Fly ball to right. Hayward settles under this one and puts the squeeze on that one. Two down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. And up next for St. Louis, Mason Wynn. Wynn. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ripped to third, but handled. And that'll end the inning. One for the Cardinals on the solo home run. It's tightened up a bit at 6-5 now. Back now, and on the mound, the closer, Ryan Helsley. You're well, he's Helsley. the guy they hope to turn to now out of the pin to lock down wins. So this game Number has gone to plan, days. more or less. Ryan. Let's see if he can wrap oh, it up here. Here's Mookie now. Go. Not your prototypical leadoff guy. Second Gets on base, yes, but also some power. A lot of times yeah. you're looking for a guy to get that tie and run on base. But because of the power, you want him to tie up the game with one swing here. Pitch. Ball one there. Ball one, no strike. One run game, bottom nine. That's ball two. Facing a closer that no. delivers big time velocity. Well, normally against a big arm with this kind of velocity, you look for the ball down because the fastball up is a little hard to catch up to. But he's shown really good plate discipline by not offering at that last pitch down. Freddie Freeman waiting for a turn at the plate. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. 
edge of the zone for a strike. Three and one. Oh, an interesting situation. One swing you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. Ball four. He walked in. And that'll keep the line moving. Oh, he tried to nibble right there. He just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer it. Oh, the way about it at first. And here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman, known for his late inning heroics. There's a strike. With the tying run on at first, they're the last half of inning number nine. On a triple digits. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Bows that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Throw to first, and hey. he's back standing. I think you want to get a one way lead, be very aggressive in the secondary. This hitter, not a power guy, so you want to make sure that you can get some linked on the secondary lead and perhaps scoring a ball in the gap. Grounder might be two. Takes it to the bag. That's one. On to Goldschmidt. That's two. Good 6-3 double play right there. Takes it himself. And it's a nice job. We're closer to getting out of this inning. So last chance for the Dodgers. Will Smith steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Just okay. missed. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Pitch misses outside. And that's ball two. Two outs. Breaking ball inside. And it's 3 0. Big pitch coming right here. Last thing he wants to do is put the tie and run on base, but he can't groove on either. Nobody on. Fouled off. He was late. The Dodgers down to their final strike. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And the 3 2. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Out towards left center. He's got a ball game. And the Cardinals hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. Well, you take a tight ball game into the ninth on the road, you know that you've got some work to do. You've got to score, but then you've also got to get three outs in the bottom half of that inning. They did just that today. Very well played ball game. Get this win on the road. Everybody's happy with the W.